People who downloaded their Google data and went through it, what were the most unsettling things you found out they had stored about you? I'm the vice president of a company that I've never heard of and can't find any other info on it. Are you hiring? Only for unpaid interns. Sounds like a promotion to me. We only accept Ivy League alumni. I have a Costco membership. Does that count? Baby boomer, it's worth a shot. Get dressed up and go apply. Don't forget about about the handshake youngster. Op just got hundreds of people downloading their Google data Reddit, went from a couple hundred to hopefully tens of thousands. Hope so. Healthy reminder for people to realize just how much data they really give out about themselves and how badly that could end if leaked or used for malicious purposes by some government or corporate entity. The huge potential for each and every one's very own personal shit hitting the fan and spread everywhere without a possibility to clean it up. Edit, kind thanks to the anonymous benefactor for the gold. I hope this thread is enlightening to many people. This might be the day when I get to say RIP in box. Edit, holy crap. Thank you good people for all the awards. I've never been gilded before and have no idea what to do with those, but I'll find out. Inbox did not die, but for a while it felt like close to choking to death. I read every message, did not reply to everybody, but I tried to thank each and everyone who gave silver, gold or platinum. I'm thankful for every award. Their profile claims I like Chinese rap. I have no idea why, other than one video I came across in the Yata rabbit hole. You are now moderator of r slash China. China will grow larger. China has been generous. A very good plan. There's an audio recording of me saying check the Jewish boy's penis I don't remember ever saying that but okay. I'd never admit to that on the internet either, buddy. Unless you're a marile. Probably young you were curious about circumcised penises. If you use Google Photos and allow maps to track your location. I took photos that I didn't like, deleted them. Weeks later I'm just browsing my timeline and Google Maps and those deleted photos are there, tagged to the location. Nothing incriminating, just thought you should know that a delete isn't a delete. Edit. A lot of people aren't reading this properly so let me clarify. I didn't say I found my photos on Google Photos Cloud after deleting them on my phone. I found my cloud deleted photos on Google Maps timeline. And please spare me the guess. What Google still has it paranoid shit. I know they still have it. And I don't care. I'm merely answering Ops question. Yeah. I deleted some old photos and a year later they came up in a montage of the year. The funner thing is. I'd like them back. But can't find them anywhere else. Just to be sure. Did you go to photos.google.com where it backs them up? You can change your settings so it only stores them to your device. Edit. Thanks for the gold. I'm glad I could help. So many people recover lost photos. Here are instructions to change backup and sync settings in the Google app. Dude, if I had gold to give I would shower you in it. There was a lot of old lost photos in there that I thought I has lost on an old phone. May luck find you today. Recordings of conversations with my boss over two years. I don't know why it only had recordings of her and I us talking and no one else. Just listened to a load of voice clips of me talking into my voice to text thing on my phone keyboard while driving four years ago. Me talking like an idiot, speaking really slowly so the words could be heard distinctly. I am going to get bacon see you later deleted i love how everyone's first instinct is delete we have a universal aversion to hearing our own recorded voice when i hear my own voice it infuriates me because my real voice sounds exactly like what i imagine the most annoying voice someone could have sounds like is that what i sound like seriously you don't find that incredibly annoying sounding how are we still friends when I sound like that? I got drunk once and proceeded to get lost on the way home, ending up cycling on some highway. 
For two years I wondered where the hell I had been, until I saw Google's location history for that night. I just found out I did fucking go to McDonald's in the middle of the night at my mate's birthday party without anyone fucking noticing, and they were telling me I was just passed out the whole time. Or your friend stole your phone, took it to McDonald's. Dude, this will be so funny, when he goes through his phone's Google Maps history later. Google knows more than you. Definitely the voice recordings. That should be turned off by default instead of needing to be changed by the user. HTTPS slash slash my account point google point com slash activity control slash audio log into your account and go to this link. Make sure to pause voice and audio activity. If you are interested in online privacy, head over to r slash privacy. You can find many useful tips on how to best keep your personal data private. Thank you. Paused everything. Thanks for the tip. For some reason there's audio of me saying penguin it's what's for breakfast. Apparently I said what color is a cow's tongue. Okay I have a weird but serious question. My husband passed away last year. I still have his S7. I'm also 99% sure I have his Google account information, but if not I'm sure the password is saved in his phone. If this thing really does record voices, how would I go about downloading his Google data? I just want to hear his voice again. I'm starting to tear up as I type this, but seriously, I only have one voice email from him on my phone and maybe a couple videos. Anything more I can get of his voice, pictures of him, I haven't been able to restore, anything I can get I want. I miss him so fucking much. If you have his Google login info, you can get to the voice recordings through the link below, and logging in with that Google account. Then go to data and personalization, voice and audio activity, manage activity from there you can play, and download audio clips. OMG y'all thank you so much. I'm like bawling right now. I accessed it no problem. And even though they are short little clips some of the last ones he said were Ashton is my wife and I love you baby. You have no idea how much this means to me. Some are stupid things he googled when we were arguing about stuff, conversions, song names etc. And they made me giggle because it brought me back. Oh man I miss him so much. But at least now I have this little snippets of memories. This seriously means the world to me. I'm so glad I stumbled upon this today. Edited to say, I always used to harp on him for asking Google everything, and using voice to text. I'm so glad he was a smart ass enough to use it mostly for texting me, and looking things up, when we were together. For once, thank you for being a creeper Google. This is probably the only time I'll thank you for it, and I'm scared to look at my own data, but, thank you for this. All phone activity, opened app, closed app etc. From the very first day I owned my phone, constant check of my GPS, constant check of my device orientation. If someone steals your Google account, they basically can found out everything there is to find out about you. Then they'll be disappointed. I used to hack people's accounts when I was younger just for fun and because my moral compass was a bit broken. This was back before everyone used apps to communicate, so emails held everything. If you wanted to send someone a dirty picture, email was it. The one thing I quickly learned, most people are boring and didn't surprise me. Even if I found the odd secret it wasn't really that weird. I don't do anything that I need to hide, if Google wants to listen in on me, go wild. I'm not so arrogant to think, that the tiny speck of life, that I'm on this planet really matters on any grand scale, so I'm not wasting time worrying about this stuff. Juicy details start to become dry, once the supply is unlimited. Just like it is, man. There were some chicks in those cooking magazines my grandma kept in the bathroom that'd make me come enough to fill a bucket 20 years ago and some of them wore turtlenecks, good damn it. Now, I'm looking up some BDSM interracial oil down high fantasy goatee reenactment incest majid porn, just to get my dick to twitch a little bit. I've been desensitized, man. 
the supply too big for my tiny monkey brain. The most unsettling one I've had came from Facebook, not Google. Mine a bit of background, I'm a straight guy with a lot of LGBT friends, and was actively involved in supporting the Australian same-sex marriage campaign. So FB probably had me flagged as gay at the start of 2012. In 2012 I started dating someone. We'd been friends for some time. I'm on Facebook all the time. She had an account, but almost never used it. We basically never communicated on Facebook. Immediately Facebook started telling me to mark her as a close friend and all of its ads changed from gay singles cruise and similar to romantic jet aways for couples. I can only assume that it was able to tell from GPS that she spent a night at my place and that I spent one at hers a few days later. Huh I never thought of that. Two phones at the same place during the night tells a lot I guess. Damn. 100%. I've had that happen several times now. A single mutual friend guarantees they'll show up as a recommended friend if you've been in close proximity. I previously worked in a mental health and substance abuse recovery center, and twice I had new suggested friends pop up on social media, specifically Snapchat and Instagram, immediately after a patient checking their phone in the waiting room. I once had a patient try to add me this way. Our GPS locations matched up and flagged us. Till Ron Swanson had it fucking right. Erase all pictures of Ron. Audio recordings titles are generic and serialized so make sure to take some precautions before listening to them in front of your so, family or andoms. Please don't make my mistake. Hey Google, how do I increase my penis size? Girlfriend staring at me asterisk. Was it your voice or hers? Lol nice. I don't get how Google is recording back quote secret conversations that can be stored and viewed. I thought this was exclusive to Google voice searches and commands, which are approved by the user in settings. How are these candid conversations being recorded and stored and how can you view them? How can it know whether you said, OK Google without recording and analyzing what you said? Activation phrases aren't handled like the rest of your speech, that is they are not sent to the server for processing. The microphone is always active but the device doesn't record anything or send anything until the onboard hardware detects the passphrase. It's a rather simple system, sort of like a more advanced clapper. This is why you can't easily customize your activation phrase, even though there's a million trackers who'd want to say computer, and why you can't train it to ignore voices that aren't yours and anyone saying OK Google or Hey Siri on TV will activate it. Edit, spare me the tinfoil hat replies. I've disabled inbox for this post. The Amazon Echo can have computer as a wake word. I tried it, and it was amusing for a few days, until I watched an episode of Star Trek. They say computer about 500 times an episode, and it was a nightmare. Changed it back to Alexa. 